a lot of the work I did at college was trying to identify who I was, uh, whether I was Northern Irish, British, Irish, whatever. Um, through being a child of the Troubles, uh, a lot of questions came out of that. Uh, my identification became with Ancient Ireland and came through Standing Stone Circles, Portal Dolmens, and the, the uh, study of history and on the ancient history of the land over the last year or so. I've revisited the, uh, the places in and around Derry that uh, I visited as a child uh, that were meant something to me that uh, when I started painting uh, visually stimulated me. Places like uh, Memore Gap or the Ness Woods or up to the Greenland Fort and possibly uh, the little hidden gem in the whole scenario is uh, the Stanton Stone Circle at Beltony outside Rafo. When Keith approached us uh, over a year ago with his idea to have an on-street gallery and making it the biggest on-street gallery in Northern Ireland, we thought that fitted in very well to the overall programme. It was something very unique. It was a, an opportunity for us um, to be part of the whole UK City of Culture. And it's two different, completely different types of exhibition. Uh, Keith's work is all oils, and it's um, Donegal, a lot of Donegal, you know, identified by so many people in this part of the world, because that's part of our customer base, Donegal and Derry. And then we have the local artist, Hugh, who's a very talented a pencil artist especially. He has uh, taken a lot of local scenes, more immediate scenes, and, uh, and that is a different aspect to life in Derry, which I think is really worth worth having in the store. The detailed work, you know, we spend a lot of time at it. Maybe there's some um, pieces there, we spend about six weeks, you know. Some more pieces maybe I do maybe on a day. It all depends on the medium I'm using. Well, if it's pencil, it'll be, take me about maybe four or five books. We'll go to the end of the week and sit back for a, a beer and just study what I've done and then look forward then maybe the Monday you come again to start again. And the same end of the week later, have a beer again and look at it. Sometimes I, uh, I feel sort of um, sad when I come to the end of something because I was enjoying it, all the different stages doing it and you know, just seeing it come to some sort of completion. And when I was finished, it, I was sort of like, God, I had to start something else. <laughs> I was enjoying it that much, you know. I had been lucky enough to be born in Derry, lucky enough to be on the doorstep of Donegal and this beauty was all about me from a very early age. Maybe one or two people will now go and over Momore Gap and have a look at the, the packed which of fields uh, or have a look at the shrine and the, at the little lake uh, or maybe even visit Beltany. Uh, if people like it, it's better. If people don't like it, that's still fine. But at least I've tried to communicate something. <laughs>